loop them in. So, so yeah, so we'll be talking a little bit about the uh, program and about what's happening. Uh, my name is Lena. I'm the coordinator for the program. So I know a lot about OC and how things work here. Uh, I know very little though about audio engineering. So that's why Ben is here, <laughs> who is uh, one of our instructors and um, also a former student and uh, a musician and a lot of other things. So I'll <laughs> then do a little quick introduction of who he is himself. Yeah, so uh, my name is Ben Click. I in here in the Okanagan where, um, where the course is taken. Uh, I'm a local musician. Um, I travel back and forth to Nashville um, once a year and uh, to record music, to write music and things like that and to network and really dive into the business. And uh, as Helena mentioned, I'm also a former student. I took this course back in 2015 and uh, absolutely loved it. And it helped me um, basically launch my career into what I've been able to do now. So uh, to be able to be a part of the course um, has been fantastic. So if you do have any questions for me and in the course material, because I'm currently an instructor with it, any course material or let's say just musician stuff in general or whatever you want to get into, feel free to ask a question. Awesome. Cool, so we have a quick little agenda there, what we're gonna go over, just an overview of the program, how it works, what to expect, uh, job opportunities, and then we'll have a time for questions in the end. So uh, there's nothing that I will go, that we'll go over today that you can't sort of find online, but decided to put it together in a nice little package so that it was easy to uh, follow along with. So the course is 130 hours long, so it runs from, Mondays to Thursdays every week from nine till four, uh, from September till May every year. Uh, we only have one intake on a regular basis. Once in a while we have a sort of a spare extra intake, uh, but it's nothing that's scheduled on a regular basis. Uh, the tuition cost for 2020 intake was uh, just shy of $9,400. And uh, the only other thing that you will need in the program are is the book, uh, which you don't, uh, you can buy it um, in paper format or in hard copy, uh, or you can download it. So it's a free version. You can either get a free version, uh, electronic free version, or you can uh, buy the real book if you write, like sort of like to write notes and whatever. Uh, and the other thing that you'll need are, are a set of headphones um, at some point in, in, in the program. So uh, not right off the bat, right, Ben, or? No, that's correct. You, um, I mean, these these types of headphones usually over the ear are a little bit better. Um, however, uh, we have had students that use, uh, like let's say Apple AirPods um, or the Apple headphones, uh, or if you're a Samsung user, that kind of stuff. Um, but we do recommend just from the mixing and mastering perspective, when we go into that sort of that part of the course, that you have some over the ear um, headphones at that point, which comes later in the course. So you've got a bit of time. Awesome. So uh, admission requirements, uh, there it's not a huge amount. So if you are a mature student, then there are, and you don't can't find your transcript, so whatever, then um, we do have a couple of alternative ways to get into the program, doing the ABLE test and math, for an example. Um, but again, these things are easily find on the website. Um, this is the overview, all the different modules of the program. Uh, I'm not gonna go through, we're not gonna go through every single one and what every single one includes. We will, however, on the next um, slide, go over some key topics. There are a couple of the, of the modules that are very unique, I would say, to this program. Uh, one of them is the live sound engineering, where the students actually put on a concert. So pre-COVID, <laughs> we did it in person and it was, you know, we invited hundreds of people and everything. Uh, this year, we will be doing it live. However, it will also be recorded and live streamed. So uh, it will sort of be a blended combination of it. So. That one is very unique to our program. Uh, and I would say that the applied audio engineering is also quite unique. It is a module that sort of runs through the whole entirety of the program. So um, 
the applied audio engineering has very little new information because at that time you will have gone through a lot of theory and you will know oh, i don't want to see you know everything because you'll never know everything but you'll know a lot and the and the applied audio engineering gives you an opportunity to really dig deep into what your passions are so i'll let uh then talk a little bit more about that on the next uh on the next slide here so Ben, you're on this one. <laughs> no, that's okay. So all of those modules that you saw in the previous slide, these, uh, this basically will give you a rundown of what goes into every single one. So we start off um, with sound waves and frequencies and phase, and we start from the bare basics um, and we work our way up. The nice part about this course specifically is if there's something specific that you want to do. Um, so as an example for me, I wanted to be a musician, but learn how to mix and master and produce my own music. So I took the course going in as a musician and coming out of it as uh, a producer and more of a businessman in that sort of sense. Um, and as the course goes through, we, we give you the basics of music theory. Um, we go through uh, song arrangements, um, eventually, we go into an electronics component where uh, we'll have some guests that will come in to actually help build um, electronics. Uh, in my year, we did a, uh, a DI box. This previous year, um, they just finished making radios. So you get a real hands-on experience in that, um, in that sense. Then there's uh, signal flow. So we teach you how to actually take... Um, take a live sound uh, setting or a studio recording setting and bring it like right from where the musician is behind a microphone or whatever that happens to be and take you through the process all the way to recording them or actually running the live sound portion. Uh, we go into things like mic placements and wireless systems. So the differences um, between wireless and wired and uh, different mic placements to get different sounds and we experiment a lot in the class, so it's very practical that way. Uh, we teach you how to professionally mix and master and all the automation behind the uh, programs like Pro Tools or Cubase or Logic, whatever you um, decide to and like to use. We go into that stuff. We do a little bit of a business background. So the fundamentals as to how to make money doing what you do in the industry. Uh, and then as Helena said, we do a concert unit where we will actually have a live band come in and um, the students uh, like yourself would, uh, would come in and uh, you guys run the entire show. So from the setup of all the speakers to the advertisement of it, uh, to picking the bands, to working with the bands. So you do everything like that. We give you a lighting component and everybody switches around and you can run the sound, you can run the monitors, you can run the lights. So it's a really fun collaborative experience for everybody. Uh, and then we go into analog and digital recording. So we've got a tape machine that's at the studio that everybody will um, also get to use to listen to the difference between analog and digital. And uh, at the very end of the course, we do um, uh, like final projects and everybody picks, uh, picks a couple that they wanna really focus on. And that's where you get to um, really show us what you are uh, liking about music, about the course, and demonstrate that to us. Uh, and we cater the course towards that sort of thing as well. So the more that you're open with us about things, the more we can position it that way. Awesome. Thank you, Ben. Um, so... After the course is done, which takes from, as we said, from September till May, four days a week, um, then you'll have the, uh, you will graduate with a certificate in audio engineering and music production from Okanagan College, uh, Okanagan College. We usually have a graduation ceremony, as you can see on the picture. However, due to COVID, that's changed a little bit too. So, um, might be something virtual, it might be, we'll see what happens, see where the times takes us. It's always interesting in today's world from day to day as things changes. So, um, but yeah, so 
how it works and what to expect. So the program, as we said before, used to be offered face-to-face -face Monday to Thursday from eight till four, roughly. Sometimes you would decide to start a little bit later or start or leave home, go home a little bit early to do longer days or whatever. Totally up to you guys how you decide to do that. Um, however, at this point in time, we are still off, like the, the program is, is still face-to-face. You are still expected to be on the campus. There's no way that you can have a setup at home like we have at the college and get the hands-on experience without actually coming into the studio. So how it works right now is that we have sort of three components, I would say, to the program. So we have the online synchronous learning, when it, which is when we meet online at a set point in time. So every morning at nine o'clock or whatever it happens to be, and we meet as a, as a whole group. And we could go over certain lectures, we can have guest speakers, it could be group discussions, it could be Q&A sessions, it's a whole bunch of different things, but it's actually we're all in the same spot on the same time. Um, the platform that the college uses is called Moodle and usually we uh, integrate Zoom into that, that or a program called Collaborate, which is pretty much the same thing as Zoom. So again, it's sort of like a video audio conferencing software that, that we work with. The other part of the program is a, an asynchronous learning method, which means that there are a lot of different activities, different tasks, different um, assignments and whatever that you can do in your own time. So the synchronous learning could be say for an hour, maybe an hour and a half. And then the synchronous learning is sort of like what you would be working on in the classroom on a regular basis. So you go over something, you have a lecture, and then you would practice certain parts or whatever it might be sort of on your own but still being in the classroom because we cannot have 20 students in the classroom those portions are are now asynchronously so if you are a morning person you can get up at six o'clock and hammer it all off if you want if you are more like a night owl you can do it at 3 a.m if you want or midnight on a sunday night doesn't really matter you'll still have deadlines all the asynchronous learning still gets graded. It's still a very important component of the program. However, it can be done whenever you want it to be done. Uh, and then the other part portion that we do have is the face-to-face -face portion. So uh, the program right now has 20 students and we have 10 students in the morning session and 10 students in the afternoon session. So everyone still comes to class every day, Monday through Thursday but only for half the day. And during that, those class sessions, you will be going through things that are harder to do online or that requires more hands-on or requires a certain software or equipment that you don't have access to at home. So having spoken about that, Ben, I'm gonna give you a little bit, a little bit to explain the in-class sessions a little bit more and about the room and what we have and equipment and stuff like that because uh, you're way better at that than I am. <laughs> Sure. So as uh, as Helena was mentioning, the nice part about the course specifically is um, like this year, there are smaller class sizes. So we've got 10 in the morning and 10 in the afternoon. And the nice part about that is we get to really um, chat with you guys about uh, what your goals are within the industry, whatever that happens to be and cater it towards you. So that's the really nice part about this course specifically is you really get that one-on-one -on -one time with instructors and with your classmates and things as well. So in the course itself, so when you walk into the room, everybody has their own dedicated computer station and each of them are equipped with uh, their own digital audio workstation, something like Pro Tools or a recording software of sorts um, that, uh, that you get to use at your own, um, at your own station and be very physically hands-on with the entire thing. Uh, walking into the, our live room, so we have more of a project studio at the, uh, at the college, which is fully functioning. So in it, we've got an ISO booth that when you walk in there, like let's say you're a vocalist, um, the vocalist can sing in this ISO booth and there will be nothing else that will bleed through in the microphone around them. So we've got one of those set up in there. 
uh, we've got a drum kit, we've got an electric bass, we've got a few guitars, acoustic and electric, we've got guitar amps and bass amps, we've got a brand new Roland electric keyboard, which I played with the other day, and it's phenomenal. Uh, we've also got some Pioneer CDJ um, turntables. So a lot of these things are professional grade um, that we've got at the college that uh, throughout the course will be free for you to, uh, to use during your projects, which is another bonus of the course. Uh, and then some, we've got some really cool microphones um, in there, some specialty stuff uh, from Telefunken, from Neumann, from uh, Sennheiser, got a wide range of um, Shure microphones and things like that as well. And uh, so that's just the live room. And in the control room, we've got uh, three or four different uh, mixing consoles in there from uh, the Allen Heath GL2400, which is more of an analog board with all of the, uh, all the pots and things on there that you can play with and have some fun with, uh, to an SSL Matrix 2, which we just recently got in the studio and still has some plastic on it. So it is brand new. Uh, and that's our new digital board that's in there that um, we're going to be testing out over the next year. And come next year, it will be 100% fully functioning um, for, uh, for everybody that comes into the course next year. Cool. So the... Um... The program is very hands-on and we want you guys to get as much hands-on practice and time and uh, exposure as we possibly can. So again, due to the times, it's a little bit different, but in a normal year, you could also book out the studio uh, after hours or after class times in the afternoons or weekends or um if you want to record yourself, if you have a band that you really want to record, you've got friends that you want to bring in or whatever. Uh, in the normal years, we're being able to pretty much accommodate most things that students want to accomplish. Due to COVID, it's a little bit more restricted this year, but hopefully by uh, sort of springtime, we'll be able to open up the studio a little bit more again to uh, to be able to give you guys more time in the studio and more exposure and more practice. So um, that's our goal. The students who come into the program tend to come back. And I don't mean coming back in the sense that they come back to take the course again, <laughs> but they keep going and showing up. So we have students from probably 10 years ago that still pops into the classroom, that still comes in, they help out, they, they're they super excited to be part of the live concert. They're, um, you know, come in if there's somebody that is, uh, say, extra interested in lighting, we'll hook them up with Rusty, who is one of our former students as well, who also works in the industry out in Kelowna right now. And, you know, you can do a say a job shadowing or a day with Rusty at the at the uh, KCR or our RCA wherever he is <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah uh, Kelowna Community Theater I think he is <laughs> so um, so yeah so we do try to connect you guys and network and give you as many opportunities as we possibly can to reach the goals that you want to reach and connect you with the people that you want to connect with to reach those goals so um so yeah different job opportunities uh again ben i'm honestly gonna leave this one to you because i don't really know what they are <laughs> no that's okay so um we as a course uh we will do our best to connect you with the people that will benefit you in your career regardless of what that is um from a music perspective so just as a few um off the slide specifically uh, you can be a live sound engineer, so the person that is running all the front of house for live bands and things. And in concert settings, festival settings, theater settings, uh, whether they're in bars or nightclubs, um, you will be able to run uh, the sound for the bands that are up there. Uh, music producers, um, production assistants, uh, post-production and sound engineers, uh, recording engineers, so anything studio related, whether you're an engineer tweaking the, um, tweaking the settings, or whether you actually want to be the person guiding the band and, uh, and the artist to create a really cool sound, you'll be able to do that um, towards the end of this course. Uh, mixing your mastering engineer, again, will be able to uh, mix on 
on many of the boards, we've got them in the studio that you'll be able to practice on and at your own stations as well. Uh, sound designers, sound editors. So let's say uh, maybe music's not necessarily your thing, but you want to go into the movie industry. You'll be able to run that side of like the, the production and the sound side of the movie industry uh, and run the boom mics and work with the actors. So there's so many different avenues that you can go through that way. Um, acoustic consultants. So we do a little thing that... Uh, you'll actually learn how to create acoustic treatment for studios. So when you see those diffusers on the walls or the big foam patches everywhere in all the corners, uh, you'll be able to learn how to build those. And if you want to, you can do that as one of your final projects, if it interests you and build one. Um, and we'll, we'll, give that, uh, we'll give that to you as well. Foley artists, so things like, um, I don't know, if, like if you've seen the Transformers movie, all of the uh um like when they're changing from the cars or the trucks to their big things um there's the sound portion that goes behind that and uh we had one student in my year recreate that by well he wrecked a blender but he put electronics into a blender and recorded it from his house and put that into um, his own interpretation so that's something that you can do if you don't want to wreck a blender uh, and then artist or musician. So like myself, I went in it as a, um, as a musician, as an artist, as a songwriter um, and came out with all of these other skills um, and uh, that are listed here uh, as well as many, many others. So it's very much um, a person to person basis. And uh, we tried our best to cater to what um, you would like to do and get out of the course specifically. to unmute myself so I can speak again. Um, yeah, so we do have quite a few different, both instructors and guest speakers and uh, sort of people tours that you guys will, go, will be involved in as a student. So our main instructor is Corey Bell um, and he has been in the industry for, I honestly don't even really know, like quite some time, like about 20, 25 years. He started off as a on stage stage artist, and then um, he's a musician by heart, I guess you could say. Oh, yeah. um, and then he moved more into other other things. Ben, you probably know better of the technical <laughs> terms than I do. <laughs> That's okay. He started as a he started as an artist. He started to write songs, um, and he's also moved into the production um, world of music and he does a lot with uh with some movies now including companies like dreamworks so he is very much in the industry always and has a broad knowledge of um of every avenue that uh that is within the entertainment industry yeah uh and then we have uh quite a few other probably have three or four other instructors that also come in and teach different components like ben said of different parts so we have someone coming in doing uh, a full week on uh, Ableton doesn't mean that you're just using a Ableton for a week. You can use it during the whole year, obviously, but uh, for one week, you will be focused. Everyone will be focused on Ableton. So everyone will be exposed. And then if that is something that you absolutely love, then you can continue working with Grayson and, and, and use that as one of your final projects as well. Uh, as I said before, Rusty and Aaron usually comes in and do parts of live. Uh, Ryan comes in and does a few things. So there's quite a few different teachers that will come in so that you, you don't just have one person the whole entire time. It is split up between a few different people. And then we also have guest speakers coming in. You'll go on different uh, tours when, when possible. Uh, to different studios and different venues. Uh, you'll have ample opportunities to volunteer out in the community to get both sort of exposure to whatever industry that you want to go into. If it's live, we work really close with H, HSP, HPS, H, whatever, <laughs> Horizon, <laughs> and SW, <laughs> sorry. That's okay, it's New Horizon Productions. They're a local um, company here. NHP is the, uh, is the acronym. You were close. 
pencils. <laughs> exactly. Uh, that's what I do what I do and they do what they what they do. Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> you're in good hands. Um, but yeah, so we do work really closely with a lot of different companies and lots of different venues. Uh, and we have access to a lot of, of uh, opportunities for you guys. So, so yeah, um, any questions in the, uh, I haven't seen anything in the chat box, but if there are any questions, please feel free to pop them in there and Ben and I can uh, do our best to fill you in um, or answer any of the questions. The other thing that I also want to say um, for being here today is that you are eligible if you haven't. I think that if you pre-registered for the session, you are already entered. But if you are not pre-registered for the session, you can go to Okanagan College website forward slash tuition giveaway and get the opportunity or the chance, I guess, to uh, win a 5000 uh dollar tuition credit towards a program at Okanagan College. So uh, Ben, the first question is for you. Um, yeah, do you need totally. any musical training to uh, come into the program? Uh, absolutely not. If you do not play an instrument, um, that is totally fine. You don't have to have any musical history whatsoever. If music interests you and you'd like to dive into the industry, we start at um, the very basic in the very beginning and we will uh, explain it as best as we can to allow you to understand. Um, so no, you do not have to have any sort of musical training uh, at all. If you, the best part is just have an interest in music as a whole in whatever capacity that that is, um, and you're good. And that is one thing that is really good about this program is that, and I didn't know this maybe you know, before I actually became the, the coordinator for the program, which I've been for a long time, but uh, is that there's so many different aspects of music. So you think that it's, I thought that audio engineering and music production was like in studio and working with a board. Like I thought that that was it. That's the only thing, that's your only avenue that you can take. Well, it's not like there is endless amount of opportunities and different avenues that you can take. And we try to expose you to as many of those as possible. So and if you do love, like if you do have play an instrument and you want to record, then by all means, like bring them in and jam it out and sing whatever it happens to be. Uh, okay, I'll answer this one too. Um, if have we to have question first, because yeah. people can't see that. Yeah, that's okay. If we have our own equipment or DAWs, uh, will it be possible to integrate them into our uh, education? Yes. So as an example, um, all of the computers at the, um, uh, in the studio are equipped with uh, Pro Tools. I believe there's Ableton. There should be Cubase on there. If you like to use, let's say, Logic, and we don't have them on the computer, we have a student this year that that is all that um, he uses. And uh, he is using that for all of the uh, recording things um, that he is using. So absolutely, uh, you can use your own equipment uh, and DAWs. You can bring them in, your own computers. Uh, if you're more comfortable on a certain platform, 100% um, you can do that. And we have had, so as we said before, you do have your own station, you have your own computer, you have the software is downloaded, all that sort of stuff. However, there are plenty of students that do bring in their own laptop and just hook them up to the monitors in the classroom too. So, so you know, it can go either way, whatever ones, whichever way you want to take it, we're good. Now, before I'm just, I'm just curious as to, uh, cause I like your questions. Um, where, where are you, where are you coming from? Like, are you more of a producer angle, a musician angle where I'm just curious where you're coming from? Just so I, just so I know. <laughs> no, that's okay. I will repeat it. Um, where, what, what part of the industry are you uh, coming from? I like your questions. So, the, is it is it more of a 
producer angle that you're looking at, an engineer angle, an artist, songwriter, where, what's, uh, where, what angle of the industry are you coming from or are you interested in learning more about? Takes a bit to type it. So interested in the musical side of things. Cool. Oh, theater and sound design. That is amazing. Okay, cool. Yeah. So we we will uh, one hundred percent cater to that uh, if that's the side that you are interested in. Um, it is a very uh, like what what I'll call a blanket course. So you get a little bit of everything from electronics um, to the musical side of things. Um, and yeah, so it's specifically for specializing. So to, you get the blanket. And then if you would like, like, let's say you like this side and this side of the industry, you can start to cater towards that, express that to myself and to the other instructor, Corey. Um, and we'll make sure that, uh, we cater towards, um, towards you and what you would like to get out of it. We also do one-on-ones. Um, majority of the time you will be chatting with Corey, but if you'd like to reach out to me as well, 100%, that's cool. Um, Corey's email, I believe, is on the slide currently. Mine is uh, bclick at okanagan.bc.ca. So if you do want to reach out to us with any other questions, um, feel free to, uh, to do that as well. Yeah. So our half hour is up. Um, so I'm uh, very happy that you came to join us and listen to our little spiel about audio engineering. Uh, but as I said, if you want more information, please email Corey or you can email uh, Ben or you can email the CS office uh, and we can set something up. And uh, yeah, looking forward to hopefully seeing you later on. And thank you very much for your time this uh, morning, afternoon. I don't know what it is, Ben, as well. <laughs> it's afternoon now. Yeah, afternoon absolutely. Now. <laughs> good to meet you thanks for your questions <laughs> okay thanks very much guys have a good day see ya see ya